I've always loved driving out in the country past ranches with the wooden signs at the entrance with the name of their family ranch. I always thought it'd be cool to do that. But considering we live in a subdivision on only a half acre of land and have no cattle or horses, it would probably not look so cool. Uh, not to mention it probably violates some homeowner's association code. But if I ever were to win the lottery, I'd buy a ranch and have a cool looking wood sign at the entrance with some name like Winding River Ranch or Hidden Cove Ranch. A man can dream. <laughs> but here's the deal. When the new holy city comes down after the millennial kingdom, entrance into the city will have a name written on it. Actually, it will have 24 names written on it. Look at Revelation 21 verses 9 through 14. Then came one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues and spoke to me saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, its radiance like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels and on the gates, the names of the 12 tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, three gates and on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and on them were the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. This brilliant capital city of heaven will have 12 gates with the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. This is significant because Israel is still God's chosen people, and they will be honored with the names of the original 12 tribes. And the 12 foundations of the wall of the city will have the names of the 12 apostles. This is significant because they represent the new covenant the life we have as a result of the finished work of Christ. I love that both Old and New Covenant will be represented in heaven. Not only so with names on the holy city, but with the presence of Old and New Covenant believers. I mean, how cool would that be seeing Moses and King David and Ruth and Esther? Who knows, maybe one of them will be your neighbor. So many exciting things about heaven. One of them will be the presence of the Old and New Testament saints. May we truly get excited now for the glories of heaven later. May we find delight in knowing that we will be in the company of the heroes of the faith for all eternity. And most of all, may we be thankful that we have the presence of God Almighty there. Amen.